Hello and welcome to this short video about the advanced template schedules in Webload. Uh, this video, I'm going to talk about how to schedule tests. So sometimes you have just a script and you want it to run uh, on some machine and at some, some point. And then there is a mix of scripts. So it's uh, several scripts that they run together, but they share the same schedule and they run on the same machines. And then I want to talk about advanced schedules where we have um, each script can run on a different place or uh, on a different schedule. So that's going to be advanced schedules. So in Webload, uh, when you want to schedule a test, you have this uh, wizard to say what you want to do. The schedule is basically which script you want to run on which machines and for how long, basically. So this is what it looks like. Uh, there is the single script that I'm going to talk about, and then there is the mix, which I'm going to talk about later. So single script, and I'm just going to pick one of my scripts and which machine is going to run. So I'm going to take my machine and this cloud machine I have. And then uh, how long does it needs to run? I, I can do the schedule per single every machine, or we can do it for all the machines together. So this is kind of the simplest way to do it. And let's just look for a profile. So a linear profile going for uh, 20 minutes and ending up with a thousand users. So that's going to be my schedule. So that's the simple way of scheduling things. All right, that's that's one thing. Uh, let me start over and show you how to do the mix. So again, I'm going to the wizard, going to the next step, but now I'm selecting mix of scripts. And now I have, I want to create a new mix. And then instead of just selecting one script, I'm going to select several scripts. We can have this script, but also have other scripts. We can have this script, and the other script. Uh, I can actually also select the same script again. So this is the same script I have here. Uh, I can select it again and just give it different settings. So for example, this would emulate a different browser. Um, yeah, so I can do that also. And then we have here the, the weight or percentage. So now I have four scripts. They're going to they have the same weight. So they see basically, this is 25% each of them. Uh, some people like it to be like 25%. Um, so they know what it is, but you don't have to. So sometimes it's easier just to treat it as a weight. So if I'm going to add another script and it's going to be 25, it's going to be the same thing. I don't have to recalculate it. If you have three scripts, you don't have to say 33.33333. Just you know, one, 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 it's going to be the same thing. If you want one of them to be twice as much, you can say, all right, so this one is going to be 50 and the other one is going to be 25. It just means that those this script would run twice as many users as these other ones, and I don't need to calculate. You got it. Um, so I'll just call it uh, some mix so that's my mix and and then when i'm going to run it the next thing yeah so i chose not to make it 100 and that's fine it's just going to be spread based on the weights and the mix is a separate file you can reuse so it's going to ask me to save it i'm going to save it uh, and now the, the questions about the machines is just like we had before which machine is going to run and for how long it's going to be the same like we had in the single script, it means that all the scripts that they had there in the mix are going to do the same thing. They're all run, going to run for whatever, 10 minutes, start with one user and with a thousand. So that's the mix part. All right, good. Now for the advanced schedule. So uh, now I have this, uh, this thing here to define. So we have this mix that has several scripts and it's going to run this machine for, for whatever the schedule that I defined. And I now want to go through the next more advanced option. And I'm going to add more scripts and more machines to this, what I already have. Um, so basically here, it's a little bit misleading because if you click on the sum mix and you click open wizard, it's going to reopen the same wizard and just allow me to change it. But if I'm going to do it on the top level, open wizard, it means that it's actually opening a new wizard. And now I can add a whole new script and a whole new or a mix. It doesn't matter, but it's going to be completely separate. So let's say I'm going to pick a different script. So I'm going to pick this script. And I want it to run on a different 
uh, machine, so it's going to be this other machine there. And I wanted to run for a different schedule because this one isn't linear. This one is kind of simulating just um, ten users that are all, always running for for the duration of the of the test. So that's going to be let's say um, a one hour for this one hour. I want just ten users to run, uh, or whatever. I can pick whatever schedule I want. But this is the schedule for this uh, script. Okay, so now I have those two things. I have this mix of scripts that are running on this machine and this other test to run on that machine. So that's basically how you do advanced uh, schedules. Another way to look at it is that you can use this thing here, which is called modify script selection. So let me show you how I do that also. Modify script selection, and I'm going to add another script. So I'm going to do this, whatever, hello world script. So I now I have this another script here. And notice that it doesn't have any machines or schedules. So um, you either need to do to add it. So now I can do modify load machine schedule and pick what. So it doesn't have any machine. So I can say, yeah, this one is going to be on this machine. And now it doesn't have a schedule. So I can do modify schedule. Or the other way you can do it is you can use copy and paste. So you can select, let's say I wanted to do the same thing as this script. I can do copy load machine schedule and paste load machine schedule. And now this script has the same schedule and machines as the one that I just copied and pasted. Uh, that's it. That's how you use uh, advanced uh, scheduling in WebLoad. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.